Hey there, howdy, how's it going? And today, we're going to be making uh, poor people grilled cheese, or as I like to say, college life hacks, because more than likely, you also know someone who's in college. Now, this is not an original idea. I thought it was up until literally about um, 20, 30 seconds ago when my sister said that there's a Reddit post on this. And uh, whoever came up with this idea first, Fuck you, this is my idea now, and I'm going to make a video on it, and here it is. So everything you're going to need is, uh, you're going to need some, uh, bread, some, uh, cheese, a little bit of butter, a toaster, and a knife. And, uh, you'll see my secret ingredient to spice this all up. And cannot forget, because we're not Neanderthals and we are people now, a plate. Now let's get into it. Slide this stuff to the side. Now, first thing you want to start off with is you get your plate. You need a nice clean surface to uh, do your stuff on. Get your bread and then your butter. You might be a little confused. Why am I reaching out this way? Is because it's how my camera is set up. I do not have a ton of space. And once you get your butter out, get a, a decent amount of butter on there. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how that goes. We'll see. This is an experiment. This is for science, you know? For anyone else out there who wants to uh, try doing this, and if feel free to, you know, use me as a... Might have used too much butter. We'll find out. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and butter both sides, I guess, because a toaster, you know, toast both sides of the bread. And I guess I'll get back to you once these are all done, because this is going to be pretty boring to watch. So, just, you know what, I'm just going to get my hand right on in there. Yeah, that's great. Let's just go all in. And we'll be right back after this short little cut. It's fucking gross. Alright, and we're back. Both pieces of toast have been buttered. And as you can see, I also have a decent amount of butter on my hand. Now, I'm going to get a different angle for this, because... I kind of want, oh, I, you know what, we'll just fucking, we'll, we'll just see how it goes with other. Alright, now I took the delivery of uh, rearranging a little bit, already plugged in the toaster, got my cheese here ready to go. Now the key to this is uh, once you get it in, you get it nice and toasty, keep it warm, throw on a slab or two of cheese, and then we'll uh, see what happens. But, uh, just gonna hop this bad boy in here. Pop this bad boy in there. Maybe uh, crank the heat up a little bit. Let's say about, oh, it seems a little stiff there. Let's say about a six. A six seems good. Now that's going to take a little bit of time. And I have no plans of entertaining you for that short period of time. So I'm just going to, uh, mm. It's freezing. Polar vortex. Let's go. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you. This is not part of the plan. A few moments later. Hey, everybody, 
what's up? I'm making a toaster grill. Oh, shit. All right, now this part's crucial. You gotta act fast and get that cheese right on there. Keep the heat in, slab it together. That's hot. Anyways, don't do that. Uh, put, puts like burning butter on your hands. And uh, I know you might be a little sad because this is a very long video, but I don't want to do a lot of work in editing. And, uh, well, anyways, let's get a close-up on this, this, uh, masterpiece after I run my hand in a little bit of cold water for a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, and here she is, the beauty, the pride and joy of me burning my hand a little bit and having a one complicated uh, frozen beverage that some of you might know. Let's cut this, ooh, still warm. Let's cut this puppy open, see what kind of cheese spread we got. Oh, wow, yeah, look at that. Nice and stringy and melted. It is going to be good. Oh, it actually has melted a little bit. Maybe if I got on there a little bit sooner, you might be able to see some of that. Look at that. It's actually starting to melt. Let's, uh, let's give this a, uh, a test run. Yeah. Well. It's alright. It's not the worst in the world. Better than nothing. You can really taste that garlic salt kicking in. It gives it a little extra, a little burst of flavor. You know, maybe I gotta try a second bite. But, gotta get the cheese in there too, you know? No, if anything, I'd say I overcooked the bread a little bit. Some of you might disagree, but that's burnt. All right, that's that's burnt right there. So I suggest if you do this at home, you don't burn it, and maybe preheat your cheese a little bit in like a microwave or something, and then toss it on the hot bread so it's nice and melted. Anyways, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And, uh, I guess that's it. Until next time, bye.